Greetings to you, Dr. Cho. This is Yang Bo. Today, I'm going to present my quantitative mini project entitled An Investigation on Factors That Influence College Students' Online Shopping Intention. Okay, here we go. Recent years have witnessed the popular trending of online shopping, especially among college students because they are more familiar with cutting edge technology. In this project, I assume that perceived risk and perceived ease of use are the influencing factor uh, for CG students' online shopping intention. Okay, let's go on. Based on the results obtained, I believe that the information collected could have emergence to formulate effective marketing plan. In this attention, merchants can make more targeted strategies according to the factors that those college students considered when shopping online. Finally, it's helpful for college students to have a healthy consumption concept. This slide demonstrates the definition of perceived risk and perceived ease of use for online shopping. They separately refer to the degree of risk and different difficulty level involved in online shopping. Okay, let's move on to the next chapter. According to the definition, dependent variable is a phenomenal change or a result of changes influenced by independent variable. Various independent variable refer to factor to conditions that cause changing dependent variable. In this project, I choose online purchase intention as the dependent variable, then perceived risk and the perceived ease of use of online shopping as independent variable. Therefore, in this paper, I hypothesized that firstly, city students' perceived ease of use would be in a positive relationship with online shopping willingness. Secondly, city students' perceived risk would have a negative impact on online shopping intention. Okay, let's, next, let's move on to chapter three. In this study, CG students who have online shopping experience were invited to participate. This experiment adopts, adopted quantitative research method to study the influence of perceived ease of use and perceived risk of CG students on their online shopping intention. Wen Zhenxing survey platform was used as a data collection tool, except, my, except for students' basic information. All questions were designed by using Likert five-point scale. After that, the data collected was analyzed by using SPSS 26 and Smart PLS statistical software. Let's look at the left side of this slide. In the questionnaire, we conducted the following four statistical tests. The diagram on the right-hand side is my research framework. Next, let's look at the chapter four, data analysis. According to the results from table one, the composite reliability of the various measures ranges between 0 0.96 and 0 0.98, exceeding the suggested threshold value of 0 0.7. Results from test of 
normality shown that both constructs had average variance extracted value more than 0 0.5, suggesting they fulfilled the appropriate, appropriate uh, convergent validity norm. Let's look at the next slide. There exacted an obvious positive and significant relationship between these two variables. 0 0.797 over 0 0.802, with significance level less than 0 0.05, which indicates a positive association between perceived ease of use and e shopping intention. Uh, table 3, 2. There was a strong and significant association between these two uh, variables. 0 0.852 over 0 0.859 with significance level less than 0 0.05, which indicates a change in perceived risk would have a crucial impact on e-shopping intention. Let's see table 4. From the results, we can conclude that perceived risk has a crucial effect on e-shopping intention as a p-value less than 0 0.05, which is 0 0.001. The perceived ease of use not statistically significant on online shopping intention as a p-value more than 0 0.5 0 0.05, which is 0 0.636. I'm sorry, I forgot to play this slide. Chapter 5. The results acquired in this project have fulfilled my hypothesis and were in agreement with previous publications that perceived ease of use and perceived risk are the two factors that can significantly influence college students' online shopping intention. However, there were also certain limitations presented in this research, firstly due to the outbreak of epidemic, the number of participants who can receive the questionnaire were only limited to those of the doctoral program of CG's university. Resulting sample didn't perfectly re represent CG's university students in general. Secondly, I only selected two independent variables, so it's, imp it's possible to underestimate the influence of more factors on the online shopping intention of city students. In future study studies, well-designed researches with a lar larger sample size and more influencing factors are recommended to be conducted. Thank you for your time.